Hello everyone, it's Akatrius here and I welcome you to this new video. This was requested by a viewer of mine and I cannot remember your name and I'm sorry for that, but he has requested a deck profile of a Sylvan deck I have used in my most recent video and it is almost the complete same Sylvan, video, uh, Sylvan deck I used in a video I released in December 2014. So, well, I'm still kind of much into that deck and since the deck profile was requested, I'll of course just r jump right into it because, well, if you guys want to see something, I try what I can do. Alright, let, let's just start with running down the deck itself because this deck is not a normal Sylvan deck, it's Gigavice Sylvan without the level 8 monster because the level 8 monster doesn't fit into the concept. But uh, more to that later. Let's run down the cards of the actual deck. We've got 3 Sylvan Sage Choir, 2 Sylvan Guardi Oak, two gig uh, 3 Giga Plan, 1 Flower Knight, 2 Marshall Leaf, 3 Lone Fire, 2 Kuma Shroomo, 2 Rose Lover, a Spore, 2 Peace, 1 Carib Sprout, 2 Princess Sprout, and 1 Glob Bulb as monsters. For spells, we go with 1 Raigeki, 3 Charity, 2 Nutrients, 2 Fertilizers, 1 Heritage, 2 Supervise and 2 Mountains and for traps we go with just 2 trap stuns. In the, in the extra deck we've got our Dante, Fusion Dante of course, uh, Star Eater, Crystal Wing, Crimson Blader, Star the Spark Dragon, Ordice, Major Burst Dragon, Clearwing Synchro Dragon, Black Rose Moonlight Dragon and Power Tool Dragon here and there we've got Aurea the Sylvan High Arbiter, Red Eyes Flare, Metal Dragon, Draco, Draco Sack, Petalami M7, Beatrice, and Gauntlet Launcher. This is the deck. And the deck was built in quite a long time, and I am actually very, very happy with the deck itself. And it works quite well. It mainly focuses on the combos with Lone Fire Blossom and stuff so Lone Fire Blossom into Guardi Oak is the first thing you want to do or Rose Lover Nutrient into Lone Fire into Guardi Oak if you have that and well you, you just try to combo with Guardi Oak. Guardi Oak is the key card of a deck although you just play it twice for not breaking your uh, you not breaking the shit out of, out of your hand because well Guardi Oak can of course cloak your hand Sage Choir can't because of its own effect that he can be special summoned if a Sylvan hits the grave. But Guardio can easily clock the hand, so just two of a Guardio. <coughs> and in my opinion, this deck needs just one thing fast excavates and a lot of excavates. And in that sense, Guardio is better than Hermitry. So I recommend using Guardio in this build because. It first is a level 6 and it, so it fits with Giga Plan and secondly it excavates 3 cards while um, Regia or Hermitry excavates 1 card and maybe even draws 1 and the draw is something I don't want to get because I want my plant monsters on the grave to work with him. Alright, Sage Choir is quite straightforward, 3 Giga Plan, yeah no, Giga Plan can clog a bit. But I run free of it just so I can use it, uh, just so I can use Symbol of Heritage on it or Supervise on it. Uh, Lone Fire Blossom is also the main Symbol of Heritage target, but I wanna have two monsters I wanna Heritage the most, so I can try to get the most out of a deck. We play one random Flower Knight because, well, if we get it, we can decide what to uh, top deck, what to excavate next, and let's. That can be quite helpful at times. We have got two Marshall Leaf and two Kumashrumo for basically the removal, and Kumashrumo is a pretty safe opener if we set it and we get the five excavates off. We might have a chance of a duel, but setting a Kumashrumo and ending is already a death sentence in a in some way. So yeah, let, let's just hope you don't have to do this if you try the deck yourself. Basically, Spore and Glow Up, of course, for the Synchro plays, but also Spore is used a lot, and I mean a lot, for rank 7 plays. 
because if you banish Galio with Spore, which you do quite a bit, and have Sage Choir or a level 7 Princess Bro, because you can amplify her level as you will if she is excavated, you can go for either Draco Sack, Metal Dragon, or Harp High Arbiter. High Arbiter is, of course, just to make a good removal, non targeting removal, of up to 3 cards. Red Eyes Metal Dragon, because, well, uh. It's quite alright, it can't be destroyed by card effect, it's a 2-8 beater and it t deals 500 damage to your opponent immediately after he activates an effect. So in the end it means that your opponent either has already his out on the field, in that case you don't summon Red Ice Flare Metal Dragon in the first place, or your opponent has to spend a lot of life points to get rid of Metal Dragon and your deck is an OT this deck is an OTK based deck. You have seen, the, I hope you have seen the combo I I did in the video, in the tech video, the most recent I released before this. And the, the combo, of course it was a 6 card combo, but it was quite well. And it's quite, the, the chance is quite high to achieve similar combos as well. And I dealt 8200 damage without a problem and got rid of 3 monsters of my opponent easily. So, you shouldn't hesitate to go for Flare Dragon if you know that Aurea is not that helpful and Dracosec isn't actually that helpful either. Dracosec, with its tokens, it can clock your own field, so there's the choice between those two. I'm not running Big Eye because in the current meta, we've got so many cards which cannot be targeted by card effects. And, well, targeted. Steel is not really worth it in the today's game, so I just put out the big eye for Red as Metal Dragon. Petaleme and Beatrice are quite obvious. Beatrice is here to mill us the Rose Lovers or the. Um, and most of the time, it's the Rose Lover Spore or Glow Up, so we can use it. Of course, Beatrice does not trigger any Sylvan card because it's not an excavate, it's a mill, but it works quite well. And if Beatrice is a strike, we get our Dante, and Dante Pilgrim is not as bad of a card on the field. It's one of those cards which cannot be targeted by card effects, so it does its job, I guess. And Pitolemi is to recycle Lone Fire Blossoms so we can banish Rose Lava from the graveyard, special Lo Lone Fire Blossom from, from the hand, and get a bit more combo off. And Gauntlet Launcher, you saw what Gauntlet Launcher does. It can destroy up to two monsters when it's summoned, and it does exactly that most of the time. If you want to, you can get rid of a Clearing Synchro Dang because you don't actually go into Clearing that often for a, um, I don't know how it's called, but it was the Gaia Exit. Um, let's look. Gaia Dragon with Thunder Charger. So you can use your two Gauntlet Launcher things and overlay for Thunder Charger so you have piercing damage if you want to. I don't do it personally because I want to have this, um, this option left. Because many cards you want to have on the field are high, higher than level 5, so protection is everything. It's also a pretty good card against Monarchs and not as good against Cosmo as you might think, but it's, it's the, it does its thing. And yeah. Well, I think this is all I can actually explain to you without destroying all scales of time. Uh, I will link all the videos which uh, focus on the Shinra place below. That means my first video before entering the circle, the video of December and the, the most recent video before this are in it. And I think I've got some more up my sleeve, which I released. So yeah, you can check it there. You also get your deck download in the description so you don't have to rebuild the deck because, well, if I'm gonna show you the deck, I can just put the download in the description as well. And yeah, this has been everything for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope my rambling wasn't too bad because this was the first time I ever recorded a deck profile. 
If you have any questions regarding the deck, you can of course contact me via the comment section. Yeah, I think that's all. And this has been Nectrice. Stay Raven.